Stanford and Oregon State. Uh -huh. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, Stanford is a nomad team. They've been hanging out in the uh, Northwest. Uh, I hope that it means that not being at home is a good thing. They beat Washington uh, last week. I think they'll uh, they'll get Oregon State this week, and and then we'll see. Can they come home and play someplace? I agree. I'm going with the Cardinal, too. I just think they're too physical. And with Davis Mills, they can go to their style of offense being physical and play action. So I'm going with the Stanford Cardinal. I'm gonna go, is, is Kirk still in this now, Kirk? He's in it. Okay. He's in this one. I'm in the mix. I'm back. I miss Carolina and Miami. Back for Stanford, Oregon State. Uh, I know the Bear is not a huge fan of Stanford this year. Uh, I'm going against the Bear. It's on his board today. He's got uh, the Beavs and Corvallis. I'm going with David Shaw and Stanford. Uh, winning the game today, David. I'm going with the Beavers. I'm with the Bear. Um, I, I like Jefferson running the football. It's supposed to be back. That dude's an animal. I mean, he just runs so physical. To me, that's the best player on the field. So I'm going with the best player on the field with Oregon State, Coach. I got the Beavers in the upset. Not so fast, David. Stanford is beating State 10 in a row. Make it 11. Close Stanford win. And there's game is going to be on 10 o'clock Eastern time on ESPNU. Colorado is undefeated, hoping to get into the Pac-12 championship game. Buffs take on Utah. That's coming up in just a couple of minutes, Condi. Yeah, I like Colorado uh, in this game. Uh, Utah, I think, has been a bit disappointing this year. And, of course, the Pac-12 hasn't played uh, as many games as some of the conferences. But uh, Colorado's not an exciting team, but they are a steady team, and uh, they, will, they will run the ball. I'll go with Colorado. I agree. I like the Buffs in this game, too. They're not exciting. They're slow and steady. They're going to run the ball. Low-scoring game, but Carl Durrell's defense will prevail. Kirk, so I got Colorado. You know, Carl Durrell does is really put uh, a Kyle Whittingham team on the field this year as far as their style. Love watching Jerick Broussard run. Uh, Darren Cheverini, the offensive coordinator, put together a nice plan. It's steady. It's smart. They can't turn the ball over if they want to win today. I got Colorado, David. Nate Landman, number 53 for Colorado, is a grown man, one of the best linebackers in college football. Just watch 53 run around the field and hit people. I got Colorado, coach. Colorado stays unbeaten, and Coach Jarrell is the Pac-12 Coach of the Year. He's done a great job. Colorado. Oh, we'll see how these picks match up. Colorado, USC, both trying to win the Pac-12 South. Condi, can USC beat UCLA today? Well, this is going to be a very dangerous game for USC. Uh, UCLA should have beaten Oregon, uh, an ill-advised call at the end of the first half, uh, leading at Oregon. Uh, UCLA is finally starting to respond to Chip Kelly. Uh, but I'm going to go with the Trojans. And the reason I'm going to go with the Trojans is I'd like the committee to have at least one Pac-12 team to talk about uh, when they meet on Tuesday. So um, I'll go with USC. But I'll tell you, this is going to be a very tough one for for uh, the Trojans. That's a great that's a great reason. I'm going USC to a Bear got UCLA. I'm going against the Bear, Kirk. I'm going Trojans. All right, I'm going to go UCLA as I hop out. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. Uh, I'm going to go UCLA. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Um, I think Chip Kelly, <laughs> what he's done with the offensive line, they can run the ball. They also do a good job of getting after the quarterback. So those are that was real deal stuff there. We we're banking coming over <laughs> that turn. Uh, but yeah, I got, uh, David, UCLA. <laughs> I got UCLA. Uh, I, I got USC. I got no good helicopter behind me or anything like that. But <laughs> coach, I, I got USC. UCLA's won three of the last four played in the Rose Bowl Stadium. You know that? The Fighting Kellys winning an upset. The Fighting Kellys winning an upset. UCLA. All right, that's 7.30 Eastern time on ABC. Thanks to our good friends at Wheels Up. Though that was a, that was ancillary benefit for Wheels Up that uh, Herbie got right there to get over to the plane to fly to North Carolina and Miami. Kirk, uh, pick the game that we're going to see at Mikey Stadium. Army and Navy, who wins it? Didn't, didn't Army, didn't Army just bring me over here? Um, I think, I think I love this Army attack. 
I think Jeff Monkey, I was over hanging out with him yesterday. He talked about how he has an angry football team after last year and what happened in Philadelphia. So I'm going to go with that anger. And I also think the execution on the uh, on the offensive side of the ball, running the football, the fullback, quarterback, Army gets revenge from last year. I got Army. I tell you what, did you see the, the anger and the, 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 the attitude from Navy's coach earlier? You kidding me? I'm going with the midshipman for the upset. Plus, it's my super dog. So I need Navy to win this oh, game. So I'm going like this. Navy. Yeah, they're not pleased. Uncle Gus, my Uncle Gus is a four-star general in the Army. No way in heck. Army wins the ball game. Condoleezza, who wins the game? This game means so much more. Thanks to both sides for your honor and duty and country. Uh, but it's going to be Army in the ground game, so Army. <laughs> so we've got divided opinions. Let's see what LC thinks about who will sing second this afternoon. As a former citizen coach at the Naval Academy, this game means a lot to me. This pick is easy for me to make. Can be summed up in four simple words. Go, Go Navy, Navy, beat Army! Army. the midshipmen. Thanks to everybody at West Point who made this possible. Special thanks to Condoleezza Rice for joining us. She was sensational. The core of the brigade, you guys were awesome. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy your football Saturday. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.